There we go. Right, we should set up yeah, the, really. The, huh? the knees. Uh, it doesn't look here. too uh, gayish. Uh, no, but just, you need to, need need to tip the camera a bit. Right. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, uh, my hands got off. Now yeah, relax. I've uh, got to relax. I have up. to relax. It's perfect. All right. Okay. You relax? Just me and you in the office. I'm relaxed. I got a question. Why do I do this? <laughs> You're asking me why? Yeah, you I'm this? asking you. Because why? it's your calling. You're supposed to be dealing with people it's, with mental illness. So voila, here. It's a, it's a calling, Charles, clearly. It's their vocation. Everyone's called to something. Everyone has a gift to give, and this is yours. But I don't get paid for this. In a snowstorm. Well. And you're in the opposition. That's the problem. Strong opposition right now. <laughs> so. That's all right. I'll calm down. I've been in a bad mood all day. Okay. Bad mood. That's not good. No, that's not. Oh, by the way, I apologize to your staff there. That you had a new staff there. Not yet. They're like, no, I thought. And then I got an ego. I want things done. I want it done. And then voila, it was done. Two hours later, here you are. You're good. You're good. Okay. I'm a, I'm a blogger. People approach me and all kinds of questions. I say, ask him. Ask him. By the way, I just want to let you know I'm in a bad mood. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah, Scottish, Scottish. And a Scotchman. Uh, <laughs> you should meet me mother. Oh, she's worse. Okay, turn it, focus. Why did you support the Trump speech? Did you have a lot of decision to make that people calling you say, were you under stress? No, not when I made the decision. No? The final decision. Um, because I wasn't going to, and uh, I wasn't going to, but then I thought, well, it doesn't really make any difference to uh, the outcome, because Blaine Higgs is going to be the Premier, Liberals didn't have enough to get the confidence of the House, so I thought, well, there's things in there that uh, are mm -hmm. important, uh, fighting poverty, looking at a basic income guarantee, Better wages for for home care workers and so on. Good mm. stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a lot of goodies there. Some of it were taken right out of our platform. So, yes. so I'm thinking, okay. I'm angry at Brian Gallant for a lot of things that didn't happen and a few things that it did happen, like privatizing a Dr. Girl. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, he so, did pretty good uh, for so, the whole speech. So Okay, I'll, I'll show you. So I just try to say, so I guess so how do I think about this? Um, and then Blaine Higgs was starting to talk about, and Bruce Northrup started to talk about fracking and ambulances and language and ah oh, yeah 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 yeah. So I said, okay, if I'm not if I'm not angry with what's happened over the last four years, and I look at the throne speech, because this isn't going to make a difference to the outcome of the vote. The <laughs> Tories have the numbers to to uh, form government. Exactly. So I decided I'm going to vote for what's in the speech and hopefully that will send a message to uh, now Premier Higgs of some things that are important. Why did I vote for the speech? Well, because there's some things that are quite important in there that uh, we need to put in place. So like on poverty, uh, for example, getting rid of all of the no, wait, hold stupid we'll get, rules. We'll get to that. We'll get to that later. All right. but, uh, You're the interviewer. I'm the bad mood. It's, it's all right. It's, don't forget, I have ADHD. I don't like bullshit. It has to be short, right to the point. There's nobody here. I like this. Usually there's somebody in, in the chair looking. Like, you know, I, I had an interview with Kenton Thomas a few days oh, ago. Oh, yeah? And somebody watching. That lasts one hour. Did you ask him why the power's still out for people up north? <sighs> really, I asked him a lot of things. Uh, right. Yeah, go, go to Google. Go to Google, YouTube, write Charles LeBlanc, Kenton Thomas to see it. Okay, focus. You have the math wasn't there. The what? The math, yeah. Mathematic. Right. The mathematic right. et the polo. Right, exactly. Right? Right. You are you good in math or? Uh, yeah, good. In what I remember of it, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> you know. Yeah. He so, was so going to be. So Blaine Higgs had the People's Alliance three votes. That okay. gave him twenty-five. Yeah. Liberals had twenty in the seats. And uh, we were three, so that's 23. 25, so, 23. So, ta meilleur avec du miel que du vinaigre. Yeah, maybe. What do you mean, maybe? <laughs> Isn't that a known fact? Honey versus vinegar, yeah, yeah. 
So why would you support Brian Gallant, knowing he would fall? Well, I didn't look at it as supporting Brian Gallant, because obviously he was going to fall. My vote didn't support him in any way, but it did say, yes, there are things in his throne speech that we need to do. What about the normal New Brunswick? Look, I, I get this. They start saying what about the Green Party is the watermelon party. Green outside, red inside. Right. You know, I mean, it starts like that. The ordinary New Brunswickers do not know that the Premier, the government is there, and the language commissioner is there. Yeah. They don't know that. I know. They don't know that. So they see David Kuhn standing up. In the future, the Green Party, you supported the Liberals' policies. Well, so people will, I think, anyone who's got those concerns who aren't part of the other parties, because some of them are in the other parties mm -hmm. yeah. on social media. Oh, by the way, the watermelon part, I think that came from a People Alliance. So, so anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, people will judge us on what we do in the Legislative Assembly and what we do in the next election campaign. And Did you have lots of pressure? Else? To so, decide. What did your two other persons say? What's her name again? Megan? Megan Mitten and Kevin Arsenault. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so we, we were all going to make, make, we all made our own decisions. And uh, so uh, they both independently decided to vote the way they voted. Kevin mentioned the French issue. Arsenault. He, he, yeah, he sort of, I would say vote to vote. Don't know why. Kevin Arsenault yeah. mentioned the French issue. Uh, you know, uh, French issue. And it had nothing to do with the people, with the conservative. It had to do with Brian Gallant. Right, but so for, but so for Kevin, one of the things, clearly, when when particularly, uh, the conservatives started talking about fracking just before the throne speech. Yeah. You know, Kevin in his riding, emotional issue. had Rexton, yeah. and uh, Elsie yeah. Buktuk, and so. I think, and well, he said it. He said it uh, in, in the media. He said, "I, I, you know, I ended up voting the way I did because I, I, I there's a moratorium on uh, on fracking in Brunswick, and uh, I want to keep that there. So that's the message he wanted to send. Fair enough. Is it me that's just uh, listening to people saying, "What did David do? What did David do? Did you get a lot of feedback, uh, emails? Some, about? yeah. Some people were upset. Anyway. Yeah." Me too. No, I'm one of them. I know. Yeah. I heard. And you hear it. I, I told your sister, where is he? And I said to her, but he's going to vote to support the Liberal Party in two hours? I thought you were hearing a man, and you're all mine, buddy. You're, you're my MLA, and I voted for you. And then I said, you're lucky I would to boot you up the ears. But no, no, sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, I think uh, I, I'll take my red window, smoke my marijuana, and then I'll calm <laughs> That's down. That's illegal now. That's amazing. No, no, exactly. But no, it's, it's will they hurt you in saying, okay, now you're in the house. So. You don't think so? You're in the house. Why did they put you beside the liberals? Someone and else to be beside on the opposition. I haven't been there in 12 years, so I don't know. Don't they have, they had you beside the conservative, and before it crashed, you were beside the people alliance. So, yeah, before it crashed, there was the liberals, and then kind of a, a mix a little bit, us and the people's alliance mixed up. Hmm. Um, Why don't they do that? So, mix up everybody. So I'll well, do that later, go ahead. Well, anyway, so the seating arrangements is often this kind of crazy juvenile discussion about who doesn't want to sit beside who I'm not going to sit beside them. Just like them. the soup kitchen. I don't want to eat there beside this person. Kind of like that. so small. Okay. Kind of like that. Okay. So that's kind of how that came about. Now the People's Alliance members are sitting on the government side. Mm. So that opened up some space. So now we're in our own island. Yeah. But you're right beside the The liberals. Green Island with, well, I mean, if we weren't beside them, we'd be out in the hall. But isn't there a seat beside the people alliance? Well, they're right beside the Tories. Yeah. So wouldn't that be? Uh, isn't there three seats extra? Oh no, they took those out. But so why don't they put them back in? Uh, well, I mean, there's a gap between us and the. Liberals. I don't know. I haven't been there for. There's a while. there's a space, so we're kind of on our little island of green, and uh, and then the official opposition, which are the Liberals now, are are on the other side of us. 
So we're the doors on one side and the liberals are on the other for us. What do you know? And the People's Alliance are on the other side. Are you still the third party? Well, we're one of the third parties, I guess. Well, it's going to be the other one, the fourth part? <laughs> well, everyone's talking about two third parties. So they changed what they call us in the legislature. So it's now um, uh, Chris Austin, MLA for... Starting then Grand Lake. Yeah. And leader of his party, David Kuhn, MLA for Fredericton South, and leader of his party. That's what they say. It's a mouthful. What's wrong in taking all the house and put it together? Take a number. I mean, this is the time. This is the minority government. You got to work together. Well, I don't think this issue. I don't think forward. there's anything wrong with doing that. Um, it would be a little difficult during question period, when you're asking questions of ministers if they're sitting. You could look behind you and listen. I mean, hey, maybe you could write them. <laughs> Tell me, it make it make question it, it period might. more interesting. You know, people it will might. watch. It might. People will call Rogers and say, "My God, I want I want to subscribe." It'll I, be like a wrestling match. I think it would be. Uh, I think. It would be easier to do that in the committee room when we should do it in the committee room. Yeah. So it's all mixed up. Um, so then we're functioning more as real committees. In the legislature, I wouldn't mind. Actually, I suggested it at one time, a long time ago. Um, it feels like a long time ago. So you are the Green Party and not the Watermelon Party. That's right. Now, if you had any hindsight, hindsight's a terrible thing. Would you do the same thing? I think so. Um, you know, it's kind of this way and that way a little bit. Um, but I think so, yeah. It was, this was a hard decision to know what to do. That's what I asked you. Were you under pressure? You said no. Well, I mean, oh, I think I meant under pressure from other people. But I know. No, I meant, yeah, in my brain, in my mind. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a hard, hard, way to, hard thing to decide what to do. Because if you went this way, what is that, you know, and go that way. So, um, yeah, it was a hard decision to make. That's what I meant. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. so the answer is yes to that. Yes. yes. Why was it hard? Well, because I don't, neither of them. Want to start this all over again? No, start? no, no. <laughs> no, hey, so, that Because that's... I don't have much confidence in either of them, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so, what do you do? I mean, n yeah, so that's the problem. It wasn't. There was wasn't an obvious, an obvious way, uh, uh, way forward that was easy to figure out here because, because the math. Wasn't I, I, there. I, the math. Well, it wasn't the math, but it was just no a question in terms of confidence. Like I said in my reply to the throne speech, I didn't have confidence in either of them. So, what do you do? So then I started thinking. Okay, it's a minority government, David. Minority legislature. So. In the end, they, whoever is leading the government can't um, operate as if it's a majority. They've got to get, uh, you know, and I thought, operation. Yes, and I thought so, you'll be, I thought you'd be with the hate because you would put down the government. Well, so now he's mad at me. Yeah. So now you won't get. Now you'll be totally <laughs> useless. Yeah. You were useless <laughs> before. Now you. This was your big. And you screwed up. Well, I never like to do the predictable thing. <laughs> no um, kidding. It's like the first bill I brought in four years ago to lower the voting age at 16. Everyone said, what is David Kuhn doing? Uh, anyway, um, not to distract you with that. But, no, no. But uh, so he'll get over it. He'll get over it? Well. Yeah, sure. you know, he, no, he will get over Yeah, he'll get over that because he put Jake Stewart, Ross Wetmore, and all some good guys that ran against him in the leadership. Yeah. They never even supported him in the second ballot. Yeah. They mm -hmm. drew, they walked right by him and, and yeah. they went to support Monica. Right. So, so if he could forgive that, he'll forgive you. Well, forgiveness is good. Anyway, so I so you know, know that will happen. Um, and yeah, and you're well, you're a charming guy. We'll so get along. Know. I mean, I I get along well. Um, now, Premier Higgs. Premier when, when we talk, you know, I just want to think. Huh? It's you have to remember to say it, but <laughs> but uh, but anyway, you know, we we've always had good conversations, and uh, so language commissioner no, is he gonna in Ontario? They announced that last, yeah. yesterday. I don't think so. I hope so, because that's nothing but trouble. Michelle yeah. Carrier will not even have an interview. With well, me. we disagree. Uh, Michelle Carrier won't even sit down with me. Why not? 
I don't know. Did you say something bad about him? Oh, yes. Oh, well, no wonder. <laughs> Come on, I said bad things about you too or anybody. I still say, no, we're on the love seat here, no problem. <laughs> So, and, there, and there's nobody here, you want to put, put on the lights, David? That's, no, uh, that's quite all right. David, uh, that's the time I used David, but David Albert. Uh, if he, if he would have listened to me, about show gas, still he would still premier. be premier. Okay, enough of that. Yeah, fine, I want to get that out of my system. Yeah, but so what, so what, look at what, what uh, Premier Higgs now, the first thing he's talking about is shale gas. What is he thinking? I mean, he's not taking straight. Uh, you know what, I'm going to tell you something. I went by there yesterday. I had sat down, had to sit down with Brian Gallant. Yeah. He invited me inside. Good. Yeah, me and him. It was just like a speeding date. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Speed dating. Yeah. Speed dating. It was speed dating because uh, I had it was just boom, 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 right, right fast. We're gonna talk a lot about speed dating and the love seat here. I'm telling you, with a politician. Okay, Charlie, focus. <laughs> what did you ask me? Oh yeah. Now, hey, yesterday I went by there. I felt time went idle for. Eight years, four years. Yeah. All conservative workers. Oh yeah, at the Chancery place. Yeah. All yeah. conservative workers is like, okay, thank you very much. You took care of stuff for four years. <laughs> okay, go enjoy yourself. We're back, and it's just a re revolving door. It gets confusing. I know. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, it's it's. I look around. And I go, wow, and that's why next election. If Chris Austin, I like Chris. I like Chris. Yeah, we get along. He's a former pastor. So, well, I guess. Former, former pastor. Former. Former pastor. Well, maybe Doesn't still a pastor. Anymore, I don't know. No, don't maybe do Maybe just guest games. That's the first time he has a lot of money. Yeah. A lot of money. You're boring. You're, you're yawning. Okay, I so I'm, talk, I'm doing a lot of talking in this one. i got to get mental illness. Why not? Okay, forget that. Chris Austin, uh, I think if they don't focus on bilingualism, uh, the school bus issue, that's never going to change. Mm -hmm. that's, that is a losing cause, forget it. But language commissioner, bye-bye, au revoir. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Hey, 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 you're listening to Kevin, Kevin Votour uh -huh. too much. Arsenault. Arsenault. I would say Votour. <laughs> Kevin Arsenault. No, I... He was president of the Acadian Society of New Brunswick. Yeah. And, but no, I, I, anyway, I totally support having a language commissioner. New it we just, need one. And no, we don't. You gotta complain. Yes, go do. to the ombudsman. Go to the you New want, Brunswick Human Rights yes, Commission. You want to do what Doug Ford did? I oh, don't compare me to Doug Ford. Well, I've read that time right there. Did. Lo, 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 no, I, Doug Ford gets rid of the yeah, language no, no, commissioner, the, the children's Doug, commissioner, Doug and the Ford, environment commissioner. Doug Ford. No, hold it. We're not going to Ontario. <laughs> Doug Ford. What he said, but yesterday about the language. I, mean, I didn't even know they had a language commissioner in Ontario. Apparently, I found out. You know me, David. I've been saying this for about a year, mm -hmm. and maybe two. That language commissioner was nothing but trouble. Okay, never mind that. Maybe next election, <coughs> there'll be more Green Party and People Alliance. Okay, mental illness, voila. You, you came from the tent uh, of the shelter? No, I'm going there after. I was what do you think running about out that? of time. What, what do you think about that? About the tent shut the tent. Oh, tent homelessness. Oh yeah, well, it's. I mean, you get the phone calls. Yeah. So, well, governments after government after government has ignored people who are living in poverty, people who have mental illness, people who have addictions, people who, for one reason or another, end up on the street or end up living in situations that are not good. So uh, here we've got. A big and growing problem. Oh yes. So and it's going to get bigger. So uh, yeah. So we need to bear down and tackle it. How? You're the opposition. People are going to have meetings with you or come crying to you, and then uh, too bad you didn't. Uh, you had to not support Blaine's things. <laughs> but anyway, we'll uh, jab you on that once in a while for the next two years. But what are we going to do? There's all kinds of things that uh, we can support each other, uh, Blaine Higgs and I. Never mind. Never mind. Focus, focus, David. Thank you. Focus. I Ten, actually, actually get distracted myself. I know. Did I you think know you that? have a bunch of a well, bunch I, of ADHD. I do get distracted sometimes. Like if there's some noise going on over here, and I'm in a meeting. Mm -hmm. You anyway. gotta go, go across the street, smoke, and some, smoke like, some marijuana, and, and, and this, then you could focus. And here, it's legal. In this interview, the snow is so nice. I keep getting and, distracted by it. But anyway. Okay. Um, so Homelessness. what was it? Oh yeah. So uh, well, let's start. The urgent situation right now, there needs to be some kind of 
shelter where people can get into out of the cold right now. So we need to figure out how to do that. And bring them here. And uh, computers and everything. That's maybe uh, maybe something could be worked out with a couple of churches. Right. Winter Why is not? soon. Winter. It's not even winter yet. It's a new festival. I was thinking, no winter in November. Come to New Brunswick for a winter in November festival. Okay, never mind that. Sorry. Focus. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So I, I'm looking at this now. Yeah, I know. You. you want to sit down here? Then you could just focus on. So me. anyway, uh, so you know, perhaps there's a couple churches that could open up, kind of a temporary. Okay, you're talking emergency, emergency. tank. Well, that's good. Immediate, short term thing. Okay. We've got winter already. It's cold. Yeah. So people are people living under the this person living under the bridge. There's people living in tents. Got a guy living in a in a in a vehicle up the hill. Yeah, where's that? The, uh, the um, drugstore, shoppers, drug parking lot. In the parking lot? Yeah. yeah. I never hear about it. I yeah. hear about it there, but I never hear Anyway, it. so, and... Uh, what's the story? I'm, Under privacy issue, but what's the bottom line? Well, he, he's fighting workman's compensation, trying to get... Oh, another one. Yeah. He didn't... Anyways. He, it's, he a got long, it. it's, it's a long, long story, story, but yeah. he, he, was, he, he was turned down. And he lost the appeals, and uh, anyway, now he's where he is. We need our lawyer to fight appeals. Yeah, we, absolutely. There's a Bob Shalala that used to be in St. John. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, he, he disappeared. Oh. He, he, he's no longer there. The workers, the injured, I know my cousin was involved, and she's a very smart person yeah. and determined in Charlotte County. And she uh, she fought hard, yeah. and this, she's unique. Yeah. Usually other people say, frick it. Someone else in your family is unique. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> As, but she's not Scottish. She's a, what you call a Fred Apia. Can you say that? Fred Apia? Fred Apia. That's the family. That's an Isivette. She's an Isivette. Okay. Isivette. Do you know Lord Marmont Coke East? You, you'll find out. That's right. Yeah. You're at yeah. Marmont Coke East, yeah. Lord. Yeah. That's where okay. background. But uh, she fought and then uh, they won. But. Uh, it's a sad story. They all got sad stories. Yeah, all sad. So yeah. going back so to anyways, the that, that, that's that's so urgent thing. Um, then we need uh, uh, supported housing, which you know the city is trying to do this thing with the mini homes and or the micro, what are they called yeah, yeah. tiny homes tiny and all home. of that, which is good. If it hopefully gets done, but but um, I was listening to the radio this morning. Moncton, yeah. they have. Uh, four apartments that are supported housing with a superintendent there. Yeah, I heard that. It was great. and uh, They all know they had their, their the same problem. Yeah, yeah, and services yeah. services that were there for them. So we need to figure out how to bring that in quickly here and other places. I think the problem... It's a great example. I think the problem here is it used to be me. Like, I went to the soup kitchen uh, last week, and... Uh, I don't go there like I used to, but I just went there where the washroom is. Yeah. And then I look at the chef, I go, come on here, man. And he asked me. He asked you what? What do you want? And then another come, another came, don't cross that line. And then suddenly, I went to which the I went to the kitchen, yeah. which I crossed the line it's all the time, right? We know that. Of course, it's rules. That's why they... It's like a public health Exactly, rule. but there's no line there. But it was right... It wasn't, I've been there, many, not behind, just right there. Yeah. And they come to my face and say, again, what do you want? Like, hate. It's not the same like I used to, George Pierce yeah. and Brian Duplessis. Sure. They were in, in charge. You had a person with a toque, a red toque. You go, George, come on here, man. Who's that girl in the red toque? Or who's that guy in the yeah. red shirt? Yeah. And then we find out who that person is. What is that person doing here? Right. And then we can help. Right. Now, what's going on at the shelter and the soup kitchen? I'm doing too much talking here. Uh, what's go, but yeah, yeah, don't fall asleep. Uh, focus on the snowflakes. <laughs> so next thing you know, there's no communication. The communication of them, it's run like a business. And if they communicate with the police, the police communicates with the uh, with the justice system, and that's where it just they got rid of the outreach worker. They got rid of the person right. to go on the street. You go there. They go there at uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, after my lunch. So where's all the homeless people? You yeah. go there at two o'clock in the morning, and you see if there's people there. We were there the, the other night. We saw one person in that tent going in. Go ahead. So the only people on the street, working on the street, um, are the nursing students from uh, the Community Health Center. Oh, really? Because Terry Sagan was asking uh, the Minister of Social Development this morning about that. 
and uh, that's it. So there's no one, um, you know, in any of those professions working on the street, um, social workers or the, the student nurses are from when be from the health center when they're there. Mm. But that's it. No, that's it. No, that's. So uh, it's a problem, right? It is a problem. You got your phone with you? Yeah. Where is it? I've got two phones. Where? You got one on you? How many do you need? One. Oh, wait a minute. Why? Oh my God. How come people always ask why? They turn around, they ask me, what I was call my block? Oh, they this, doesn't got, this doesn't got, oh, wait a minute. Maybe. They ask me if, uh, what I was going to talk about with you when I said, why are you asking me that? I don't even know what I'm going to talk about to David. Do I have, yeah, I have data, okay. Okay, go to Google. Later. Okay. Come on. Yeah. It's all right. No, no. But uh, I'll focus on the big snowflakes. Yeah, they're down. nice, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go to go to my blog. Go to Google. Write bullshit. I mean Charles Obama. We should have that on speed dial. I I can't even work the keyboard very well here, Charles. I should. I'll say, and I've got my glasses. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> my God, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, right. Illiterate. Illiterate computer style. There. Yo, I know you can't count when it goes to Matt to bring down the government. <laughs> you can't even spell. Okay. Now, Charles LeBlanc's blog. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. I can't see. So you, Give me that. you have to click on it. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, that's my Twitter. There we go. I want to show something. I can never find anything on your blog. When you tell me to go look for something, I can never find it. I heard you. Just telling you. Is that right? What are you doing with that? Get, get your glasses. Where's your glasses? Uh, they're in my backpack. Here, I'll get them. Can you see that? Yep. Excuse All me. Right. No problem. I should do like Dini Laundry when he was Minister of Public Safety. Start singing when I talk about the prisoners They're walking home. I should wear these all the time. Yeah, I look like a doctor. Yeah, or something. Okay, oops. Right. Now what? Oh, shit. Hold on. Where did it go? There we go. Okay. They just say I walk by the legislature. Nope. Yeah, that picture. It doesn't look like it. That's the dog last night, and that is a female in front of Service, New Brunswick, and she was all wrapped, scarves, all over. Oh yeah, I've seen her around. And she was all wrapped, and yeah. then the dog, seeing her, the dog went right close by, and she goes, oh! Oh, this wasn't dog. her dog? No, that oh, was mine, that was mine. You don't have a dog. The Do dentist you? next door. Oh man. And she went to the, oh, the doggy, doggy, and yeah. then, I saw that and she didn't want me to take her picture. I said, no. it's okay, it's hidden. But you see something like that. Yeah, I know. And it's on the street. Yeah. What time was that? This was uh, around 10 o'clock. Yeah. Do you go down King Street and Queen Street at night, walk, just to have a look? No. Maybe you should. Yeah, I should. You're the psychologist, you're the politician, you're the psychiatrist, you listen to people's problems. I should. That there. Yeah. Um, did she, uh, anyway, yeah. yeah. But but they were all happy. I think that's the first time she smiled in hours yeah. or days. Just see the dog. Yeah. Nice. It's sad. How are we going to fix that? How many more people are you going to see like that? How I know. Yeah. Well, so, so the assisted housing or the supportive housing, that's something we need. And we need to get that quick. Uh, so there's that, and there's money to do that coming in April. Oh yeah. Well, Ottawa. Oh yeah, for the housing. For the housing. To re redo redo. Well, okay. but add new too. So so New Brunswick signed this new agreement with Ottawa. So there's going to be money April first. The question is where is it going to be spent? So that's what I, one of the things I want to talk to Blaine Higgs about. But you is, voted. Is where you voted <laughs> to support the Liberals. Uh, Go. You idiot! Get over that. Anyway. You know, but I mean, if he's like me, Scottish, <laughs> and don't forget, I don't forget stuff. I, I don't forget people that okay. pissed me off 10 years ago. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the way I am. Okay. So, I, so how, why is he going to talk to you? Well... Is he Scottish or...? I don't know. 
He's from Forest City. People from Forest City. Oh yeah, City. Forest oh, and population nice eight. Mm. Nice people. Uh, okay, that's close to the states. So, but he forgive Ross. We already went anyway, through. Anyway, we'll okay, yeah, okay. So, um, so there's that. So it's going to be important how that money is allocated for April to get spent because things could get done, you know, in the spring. Um, so that's important. Uh, and then as and well, and then housing. We need to have um, rent subsidies that are attached to people, like port portable, right? Because what's happening is people, landlords are deciding, I'm not going to have a subsidized apartment anymore. You got to go. Uh, and so then you're out of your apartment and then you're on the waiting list. And, and what reason right? there, this thing is going up, the problem we're having there? Now, I'm no, uh, I'm no psychologist. I'm not, uh, I don't work for the government or social development. But I thought about that today. Uh, the drugs, it was expensive. Cocaine, all kinds. It's, it's a suspense of high. Yeah. Now they're getting high on very cheap stuff. Yeah. And once you get high on that, and like you what? still pay. I don't know. Oh, met and yeah. anything. They chemicals. They got all kinds of stuff. And once you get, we well, still gotta pay. Yeah. And once you get it, and say, okay, I'm gonna pay you. Yeah. Then what happens? Am I gonna pay the rent? Or am I gonna have my leg broken? Yeah, well, there's that. So for some you gotta save to have your leg broken. Then, next thing you know, you don't pay the rent. Mm. Voila, you're on the street, homeless. Yeah. And maybe a rehab center is not up to par than what it should be. Well, that's for sure. I think that's right. I mean, you look at the budget for uh, addictions and the government's budget for addictions, dealing with addictions hasn't budged for years and years and years. Why? Because I think government after government doesn't see that there's any votes in that. How are we going to do it's that? It's terrible, eh? but that's true. He's not going to listen to you because you voted <laughs> to Stop support saying the that. Stop saying that. He will. <laughs> he won't listen to you. <laughs> He's got to listen to me. Can we call? Listen. <laughs> do me a favor. What? Can maybe, maybe if you could call Chris Austin. And explain to him about addiction. Do you have Why, a, do, do you have his, yeah. his phone number? Yeah. You do? Can Why? I can can you uh, call Chris? What for? no. I don't know. Mean, no. What for? I, I wanna ask him. Maybe maybe he would allow you to go with him to see Mr. Hate Mr. Hayes. No. To uh, make sure that we got money for addiction uh, issues. Look, we're gonna have dinner I'm sure. But you voted next week. you voted to support no, the liberal. We're gonna have dinner next week. Is he going to talk to you? Sure. Anyway, I tried to get his private email, Mr. Higgs. He wouldn't give it to me. So They have private emails? Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but uh, Brian Gallant had private email. Oh, yeah. Did you have that? Hmm? Did you have that? Oh, yeah, I noticed that a lot of people had it, too. Yes, I should have asked you for it. Yeah, the what? I should have asked you for it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Brian Gallant, uh, yeah. 10 or something. Anyway, so bottom line here, we have a problem. It's, uh, if you have it here in Fredericton, it's worse than... And I didn't know. Moncton looks pretty... F I almost swear. Pretty snobbish in Moncton. About what? Well, they're putting down rooming house. Oh, yeah. Abandoned yeah. homes. Oh, okay. And, and you know what? It's a Charles LeBlanc. I went to... That's a the fire marshal, Charles LeBlanc. And he, he's just... Oh, yeah, that's right. I heard and he, yeah. 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 What what an idiot that Charles LeBlanc is. I went, <laughs> I went to... Uh, one, they have like three community kitchens or something there. Yeah. At least, anyway. I went to one of them at lunchtime, and uh, there was like 200 people there. Yeah. Lined up, 200 people. That was just one of them. Yeah. That was incredible. I mean, I went there about uh, 15, 20 years ago when the Mutton and uh, we have St. John when they say soup kitchen, they're not kidding. Romero, Romero House. Romero House, yeah. Might get a second on Friday. Yeah. Or is it Thursday? It's been a while. But here, we have the best soup kitchen. Well, that's good. In New Brunswick, yeah. in Canada, and here. And you know yourself, you're a good uh, volunteer at the Mormon Church. Yeah. Go there on Wednesday. Yeah. And if you're hungry, you go to Christ Church. The society is very good yeah. to make sure people's bellies are full. You can eat, yeah. You can eat. But we have a problem. Yeah, we do. Big one. And like you said, which church will step forward? Like somebody said, they're afraid to go to the soup kitchen because it's too small. 
and they're getting they should have bodyguards at the soup kitchen. He said, you can't have bodyguards at the soup kitchen. And he goes to John Howard. So we have a lot, but what can we do? Can we? It's going to be a four rough months. Coal. Yeah, I know. Yep. So so, so I think for for that I think maybe maybe uh, there's something to be done with the churches. That's worth checking out. The church. They're getting pretty old, them too. Huh? The churches. Oh well, yeah. You know Burt Green. Yeah. I was talking to him this morning, Kiwanis, Kiwanis, yeah. the, ch the, ch the, the cheese. Yeah. And no, he sells yeah. cheese. Yeah. yeah. And, and the Christmas trees yeah. at the exhibition yeah. ground. Yeah. You know what the youngest person member is? Kiwanis? Um, like, I go to their, sometimes their breakfast. And oh, Delta. They're um, maybe, what, 45? 60. 60. That's what Bert, but Bert is a little bit, getting a little bit old. But 60. Bottom line, are you? So I'm not getting involved. The yeah. church, same thing. Well, it's, the service clubs all are having that problem. Yeah. Right? it doesn't matter. No, it don't matter. It's, are uh, you? So want to get involved? Yeah, it's uh, well. I don't say that people don't want to, but they just don't know about these things. They weren't maybe didn't grow up with the idea of community service that way, and with all the anxiety. In youth now, they're probably people kind of anxious about. Well, I don't want to be embarrassed. What's that all about? You know what? So, how long is government going to last? I I feel like two years, maybe two and a half. Maybe. I would like. I hope it will be three. But it, people lives are not going to afford it against the government. That's the problem because they never made so much money in all their life. Chris Austin been going door to door for eight years. Right. Well, look at that chunk of money and the benefits. I was surprised Bill Fraser lost. Yeah. That was a shock. So Bill's a good friend. It's of mine. hard to know how his constituents thought of him. I don't know. I was I was really I was hoping that he would lose. You're yeah. hoping that Bill I was would hoping lose? Bill would lose. Why? I even told him. I thought you said he was a friend of yours. He was a good friend of mine. Yeah. He is a good friend of mine. Yeah, but why don't you want him to lose? Because uh, you would do some exercise, but Bill uh, was uh, the Minister of Transportation and yeah. the weight issue. Oh, yeah. And yeah. you go to these big dinners yeah. and these big events and all that. Yeah, yeah. I was worried. And I go by the signs. And the sign says, listen, you did your job, you stay there. You might, <clears throat> I'd rather have an alive bill than a dead one. I see. Yeah. Now I go by signs, like I'm here right now talking to you, this is over. What the hell am I doing here in the big snowstorm? It's not that On big. a love seat with my big. local MLA <laughs> and I haven't shut up since that thing been, <laughs> been on. It's not, it's not that bad for a snowstorm. Beautiful. Yeah. Snow no wind. No, I'm gonna walk. And the I keep looking out the window with the snow. I don't know what. So, I know. I know. I'm gonna yeah. walk. I'm gonna so walk, walk the bridges. Camera. How many people do you think are still watching this? Is this live? This no. This is not live. Oh. This is. Uh, I think there's still people. Uh, well, it depends what time you put it on. I'm gonna put it on in about an hour, two hours. Oh well. Probably. And it's there forever. You'll get lots. What do we put as a headline? Uh, Coon, uh, angry blogger, Scottish blogger with David Coon <laughs> on the love seat. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you all, you'll figure out something good. You always do. Okay, let's so, pray. Yeah. Let's pray for the homeless and maybe the church can get together, all together, don't matter what religion. Yeah, that would be. And trying to come up with something. And we need workers on the street. Yeah. And are you going to walk down uh, Queen Street and King? Yeah. I know you will. You're good at my life. Okay, I apologize for uh, being in a bad mood, but... Uh, well, you're in that bad of a mood. Yeah, it's all right. We did... Uh, <laughs> we stayed calm. I, I took my Ritalin. I took about 10. I smoked 10 joints of marijuana, so... And it's a comfortable couch. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later. I love Rochette.